Hi and welcome students. Today I'm going to talk to you about how to download a document from a website. So a lot of times you'll see a file on a website and you'll see a link to download it, but you really won't know where it goes when you download it. I'm going to show you exactly what to do and how to download a file using Google Chrome. So right here I have a website and let's say on this website that I find something that says letter template. Alright, well if I want to download this letter template, first I have to click on it. So if I click it, it'll say your download will start shortly. Now on Google Chrome, right down here in the bottom left, you'll see your file appear. Now right here on the left side, it'll show you a little icon. And so you can see right there, it says W. And so I could assume that's a Word file. It'll give you the name of the file, which is right here in the middle. And if you hover over it, it'll tell you the full name of the file, instructoramorgan.dot docx letting me know that it is a word file and then along the right side you'll see this little caret all right now depending on where you click right here will decide what it does so for instance if i click right here anywhere in the middle or, or even on the icon or text it's going to open up that file all right now if i click this little caret right here what this does is it gives me a few more options i have the option to open which is equivalent again to clicking anywhere over here or always open files of this type. You could set it to default. So if I want it to automatically open up Word files, I could click right there. Or this last one that says show in folder. So a lot of people get confused on where files go when you download them. So on Windows 10, if you click right here, show in folder, you can see that it's going to open up File Explorer right here and you can see where it downloads to. So on my PC, it goes to this PC the operating system, my screen name, and then right here, downloads. Okay, most of the time on Windows 10, when you open up or uh, when you download a file, it'll end up in this downloads folder. This is the same downloads folder that can be found under this PC right here, downloads. Okay, so those are the same exact thing. We see the files open right there. I could now double click this file to open it up. So I open up that file and that's how I download a file from the internet. Now notice that when I get into Word, I have to enable the editing first. And one thing that you notice again is if you go to the file save as button and you click browse. Now this is for a Word file in particular, but you could see where it was initially saved to, which again is download. So you could always find out where your files are being saved to based off of where they came from. Now, if you download it from the internet, it's probably going to end up in this folder right here. Now, it's a best practice to not keep your files in the downloads folder, because if you keep them there, uh, you won't really, uh, you might overwrite them, which is not good. So you're going to want to save them in specifically uh, designed folders for wherever they are supposed to end up. So hopefully this tutorial has helped you figure out where your uh, files go after you download them, how to open them, and how to view them in File Explorer. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for watching.